Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. How are you guys? All right, today is going to be a quickie. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm installing privacy screens to hide this big gray monstrosity behind me, our air conditioner. I have been researching a lot on these types of privacy screens. They're, they come up pretty Pretty, they're pretty expensive uh, per panel. However, I did find a really exceptional uh, um, item actually at Lowe's. And in the description of this video, you will find uh, links one to Lowe's. By the way, I get no commission from Lowe's. You'll find a link to Lowe's of the exact screen that I'm using today, which I highly recommend. The price point is awesome and it works great. And it has stakes, which I think are really important um, feature for installing privacy screens such as this. Uh, the rest of the links I did provide you, in case you don't have time to run to Lowe's, is I did provide you additional links to Amazon for three additional styles that you can find. They're highly rated, but they are more expensive, but at least, you know, I made things easy for you. Let me know what you think. All right, so um, before I get started, I am just going to show you really quickly how stinking easy it is to install these things, and also um, aesthetically the ways that you can apply these to your, to your yard, to your lawn decor. Um, one tip... There are two types of privacy screens out there when it comes to these plastic types here. There are some that have stakes that go into the ground, and there are some that just kind of sit on the ground. Don't stake into the ground, just sit there. Um, I recommend only going for ones that have stakes, therefore they will stay put. Um, if you have ones that do not have stakes, they'll just blow over. It's kind of like that drunk relative that just you keep having to pick up <laughs> off the ground. You don't want to do that. So <laughs> did I share too much? Anyway, I do recommend something like this with stakes in the ground. In California here, uh, you will need a shovel or a pole digger in order to break through our very solid, very dry ground uh, in the Midwest and East Coast where you may have more saturated ground. This is going to be such an easy project. What's really nice about these is that this particular kit, again, these are from Lowe's. And again, I provide you a link to the Lowe's SKU. They're so affordable right now. They're like 25 bucks a panel. Unheard of. Usually they're like 40 or more per panel. Um, what's neat about these is that in the kit that they give you for the stakes, they also provide you mounting kits where you actually attach each panel to each other and you can go either straight across or you can take these at a 90 degree angle. I have three of these. I have to return one because not all my parts are there. Lows. It's all right. I will go there. I will get things resolved. Um, but I'm just going to put three panels straight across. I'm not going to go with a 90 degree angle. Um, that's what my husband and I agreed upon. And that is what I'm going to do because I love him. All right. So I'm just going to show you really quick how to assemble these. So stinking easy. Um, and then I'm going to go run to Lowe's and give him a piece, piece of my mind because I have a stake missing in one of my kits here for one of my privacy screens. Oh, we have, uh, have we met? <laughs> I should introduce myself. I just tend to ramble and just go into the project right away. I am so sorry. My name is Kristen. I am the owner of Porch Nook, a decorative paint business located in Folsom, California. I make paint, I paint furniture, but I also do miscellaneous DIY projects with you guys. Uh, sometimes they succeed, sometimes they fail, but at least we go through it together and I don't feel alone. <laughs> I don't feel quite so alone when I'm uh, crying and when my DIY projects fail. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on a clip real quick. I'm going to show you the pieces that come with these privacy screens and I'm going to install a couple of them into a, an existing screen here. Uh, let me show you the pieces. <clears throat> you have just some stakes that install into the bottom. You also have a few of these screws. I'm going to use a, my electric drill to install these super fast guys. While I'm drilling, it would be great to hear from you guys. Let me know where you're watching from and how you are. That would be great. This is going to be so fast. So fast. And also just to let me know if you guys see me, give me a thumbs up or something. My personal emoji, my personal favorite emoji is the wow emoji. If you can throw me a couple, that would be great. What's also great about these screens, even if you don't have anything to hide, but you would like to... Oh, my dog's whining. If you just want to create some visual appeal or some dimension maybe in your garden, you can just stick one of these privacy screens within your garden. And it's, this, it's just a beautiful, a beautiful visual break um, of the flow of your, of your landscape and you're really pretty. But for, I'm really using this more of a utility purpose to hide my AC bit. All right, I'm just gonna install four screws and then we're, we're off. We're gonna put it into the ground. So, I'm just going to use 
They provide holes. You have the, the screw holes here. You simply just stick it in there and screw it in. I personally like to use an electric drill just because it's faster. Sometimes we don't want to dig out our electric grill, or excuse me, our electric drill and uh, dig it out, plug it in, and we just do it by hand. If you can just use an electric drill, it goes so fast. You can see I'm already done with one. I'm already done with one. Here comes the last one. Feel free, to, feel free to say hey. We're gonna pound this into the ground real quick. Okay, um, so in California, I had to pre-dig some holes in order to create the, um, sort of some loose dirt so I can easily use a rubber mallet to hammer them in. So theoretically, this should go smoothly on Facebook Live. But as my peeps know, that's not always the case. Things, sometimes things don't always go, oops, oh my God, sorry. I almost dropped you on your head. Feel free to reach out, give me a comment. I'd love to see you guys. All right, I'm just gonna show you how quickly it is to, how quick it is and easy it is just to pound it into the ground and we're all done. Whew. okay. So I already dug a hole here. I'm just gonna put the loose dirt back in. Everything will go as planned. I dug a really deep hole here, so I just got to refill it a little bit. And that's about it, guys. So what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do it on this live, is that they did provide me a kit where I can actually attach the two panels together so they will be aligned and stay together and there will be no gap. <clears throat> and that's really handy. And again, okay. in the kit, you can either um, do it straight across or you can do it in a 90 degree angle and they just stay put. <clears throat> hey, Angela. You have so much work to do. Why are you watching me? I know, you know, it's a funny thing. I agree, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put my hand in your face. You know, when we have ideas and we feel inspired and we got so many projects, Angela, but yet we kind of go what I call the Pinterest syndrome where we're constantly like clicking or brainstorming, but yet we don't act. I think this is a human condition that needs to be addressed. <laughs> um, but I, I hear what you're saying. I'm so glad you're here though, Angela. Really, I'm so thankful. And thanks for the comment. I really appreciate it. I love it when you guys reach out like that. <clears throat> All right. Let's see, I got a client texting me right now. Oops. I gotta get back to my client. All right. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, in my description for this live. And I'm sorry, I'm just kind of, I'm breathy. It's hot. It's like three digits out here in Folsom, California. So I'm really, now I'm a hot, sweaty mess. Um, I'm a little unorganized and I apologize, but that's why we hang, right? Because we, we got to keep it real, right, ladies? So again, in the description for this live, I provide you a whole bunch of links. The first link is the actual Lowe's link in which I found these screens. They are the most affordable and they have also all the features that I think qualify for a good privacy screen. Number one, they have stakes that go into the ground. If you don't have stakes that go into the ground, your privacy screens are just going to blow over the moment some wind comes along. Mm -hmm. uh, and number two, they have a clamping system <clears throat> that allows you to clamp the two pri the privacy screens together either in a straight alignment or in a 90 degree angle. I thought that was really important. Yeah, so the rest of the links that I provided right below the Lowe's link are Amazon options in case you don't have time to go to Lowe's. You know what I mean? But again, Lowe's is the most affordable option for, and I think the prettiest, when it comes to a privacy screen. I get no commission from Lowe's, guys. I'm just sharing my, my information, sharing with you my experiences here. All right, I'm gonna go. 
I gotta finish up. You guys are rolling in. Are you guys working? Are you working? You guys should be working and not watching me, but I'm glad you're here. All right, I'm gonna roll. I gotta go to Lowe's because I gotta give them a piece of my mind. One of my privacy screens didn't have all of its parts. Mm. But that's okay. Maybe I'll find something else there that I wanna buy. That's fine. But it's so flipping hot out here. I gotta go inside. I gotta get the AC unit back on. You guys, I hope you're doing great. Have a fantastic day. We're almost at the end of the week. Can I get an amen? Have a great weekend if I don't see you later or soon. Um, again, feel free to message me if you guys have any questions or if you even have any ideas or recommendations on how I can do this better. I always wanna hear from you guys, all right? Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later, bye.